Hey everyone, uh, I just want to show you a quick approach I've come up with that may help me plan uh, over the next uh, year or so. Uh, feel free to use this uh, if, you, uh, if you wish. If you want to email me to get a copy, please feel free to do that. Before I go any further, I should mention that our board is using the Octomester approach, meaning that students will be in the same course for four weeks, and they'll be in cohorts, cohort A, um, being in uh, class for three and then at home for two, uh, cohort B being in class for two, at home for three, and then those things uh, flipping, okay? I should also mention that I use Excel a lot for planning because I like its visual layout. And I wanted to see if I can if I could use an approach that would make sense uh, for both at the same time. Um, and, and I should mention too that I'll be using an approach wherein I want I want the in class activities on a um, to be the same for students regardless of where of where they are in the week. Uh, so that, for example. Anything that's happening, uh, the, the first lesson of the week that's in class will be the same for cohort A and cohort B. So essentially what I'm going to do is, is flip throughout the week, right? So it's, it's more like there are going to be five days worth of lessons and the order of them is changing depending if you're in cohort A and cohort B. And I wanted to figure out a way of not only um, organizing that, but also allowing me to see both visually at the same time. So this is what I've come up with. We have Four weeks, week one, week two, week three, week four. And in each one, we have cohort A, cohort B, with the periods here. And we know, obviously, the periods are um, more for a frame of reference. It's not like period one will be 75 minutes and period two, 75 minutes. But still, having that framework uh, might be useful, right? And what I've done here is I've created a simple formula where anything that appears in a given block, let's say action on Monday, for the cohort A is automatically copied over to um, action in the same, same, same time slot, so period one, over the Thursday for cohort B. Uh, now let me uh, just show you what that could look like here. So as soon as I type here on Tuesday, it shows up over here. And I should mention too, that I can zoom in a lot more in detail if I wish, right? So I can go, really in close in to see what I've actually written in this section. I can add as much text as I want, right? Um, but whatever I put here is going to show up over here. So basically what I've done is on the right side, everything is a copy of flipped over of what's on uh, the other, right? And so what I'm hoping is that this speeds up the process of um, of, of planning, it allows me to see both sides visually. Now, over here, it does say cohort B, don't edit. Um, these are formulas over here, right? Again, based on whatever you have in a given block, right? And you, if you edit these, just keep in mind that if you edit this block, the code that it links to will disappear, right? So if I type in goodbye here, for example, and even if I delete this and I go to its corresponding, corresponding block here, because I've deleted it, it will no longer move that code, that content over, right? But the important thing to keep in mind there is that I think what this allows me to do is plan on this side in each week, right? And have it instantly flip over to the other side and then it's a lot easier for me to edit. Maybe on this side, I'll see that things are really consistent, or maybe I could see that the order of things may work well over here, but not necessarily over there, okay? So if this interests you and you want to experiment with this, uh, just let me know, and uh, I will share it with you.